La mayoría de las gafas inteligentes suelen sonar más impresionantes de lo que realmente son, pero las nuevas gafas ARA Gen 2 de Meta son realmente un cambio de juego. Vamos a echar un vistazo a lo que Mark Zuckerberg y el increíble equipo de Meta han logrado y a entender por qué estas gafas representan una verdadera revolución. Las gafas ARA Gen 2 de Meta son dispositivos que realmente se sienten diferentes. No son simplemente algo que te pones en la cara, sino que cuentan con sensores que rastrean tus ojos, tus manos e incluso tu ritmo cardíaco. La tecnología detrás de estas gafas es realmente impresionante, pero lo más asombroso es que los investigadores las están utilizando para dar forma al futuro de la IA y la robótica. Es como si hubiéramos adelantado 5 años solo por ponernos estas gafas. Lo que realmente destaca de estas gafas es que no son IA en el sentido tradicional, no son como un chat GPT o un asistente virtual, son de hecho mucho más avanzadas. Están equipadas con sensores de última generación y capacidades de procesamiento de IA directamente en el dispositivo, lo que les permite recopilar toneladas de información detallada desde tu perspectiva, lo que ves, lo que oyes e incluso cómo te mueves. Tecnologías como SLAM, localización y mapeo simultáneos, Seguimiento ocular y reconocimiento de voz funcionan directamente en las gafas, lo que significa que no necesitas estar conectado a Internet. Los investigadores toman toda esa información detallada para crear modelos de IA o incluso entrenar robots de IA para que reaccionen e interactúen con el mundo de una manera mucho más natural. En resumen, estas gafas son como un laboratorio de investigación portátil que brinda a científicos y desarrolladores las herramientas para experimentar con nuevas ideas mejorar robots y construir sistemas de IA más inteligentes. With Project Aria, we reimagined a wearable device with a sensor suite that could perceive as you perceive, and in doing so enables the development of a new generation of artificial intelligence that has a better understanding of who you are and makes possible new advancements in robotics. Project Aria from the outset was designed to begin a revolution around always-on human-centric computing. We're excited to announce the next step in our journey, the second generation of Aria glasses. With Gen2 glasses, we are building AI capabilities with a deeper understanding of the wearer's context and the environment. Aria Gen2 is the perfect tool for researchers pushing the boundaries of AI and AR. What you see here is the same as this. We have upgraded the sensor suite with additional computer vision camera for enhanced location and embody tracking. We have increased battery capacity by over 40% without a weight increase. The device features a contact microphone and special microphones. It can distinguish between your voice and those of bystanders. Aria Gen 2 determines your location, both indoors and outdoors. Advanced eye tracking camera tracks your gaze to understand what you're looking at and tracks your hand to identify the object you're interacting with. All while monitoring your heart rate for a comprehensive understanding of your well-being. We introduce the ability to process a lot of the signals on the device in real time. As soon as you do that, you move away from the context of data collection and processing later. Then we can start to interact with the user, not just research what might be possible, but actually experience it. Help me pick up some red onions. Taking you to red onions. Red onions are here. Very important parts of Project Aria has been building partnerships with companies and academic research labs that have reached far beyond our own. We stay committed to research processes that safeguard personal information. The journey with second gen Aria glasses is just the beginning. Imagine what the research community can achieve with a device that closes the gap between machine and human perception. Together, we can unlock an understanding of what it is to experience reality as we do. Por cierto, voy a tener la newsletter más grande sobre ella en español y para que veas que voy en serio, voy a estar regalando esta masterclass sobre mi journey y este curso sobre DeepSeek o, no sé, todos estos documentos y descuentos a todos los usuarios gratis de la newsletter. Lo único que tienes que hacer es registrarte con tu correo electrónico mediante el enlace en la descripción. Y tranquilo, no mandamos publicidad. 
Solo te mandaremos dos reportes semanales con nuevas noticias, estudios, nuevos empleos, herramientas y mucho más. Alertaia.com. Solo para los que no se quieren quedar atrás. Uno de los aspectos por los que Meta o cualquier otra empresa que trabaje en este campo no recibe suficiente reconocimiento es, por supuesto, cómo estas gafas van a ser utilizadas por personas con discapacidades. La empresa Envision está tomando las gafas ARA2 y adaptándolas para que sean increíblemente útiles para personas con ceguera. Ya hemos visto ejemplos tempranos de esto con Be My Eyes y ChatGPT, pero esta demostración nos muestra uno de los casos de uso más positivos de la IA. Esto es algo que me pareció realmente impresionante, especialmente porque los sensores y todas las tecnologías dentro de las gafas trabajaron juntas para ayudar a esta mujer a caminar por una tienda, dándole una verdadera sensación del espacio que la rodea. No es la primera vez que las empresas hacen algo similar. También he visto una compañía llamada Lumen que desarrolló algo bastante parecido, pero esto es algo que considero fundamental para la historia de la IA, porque si bien ChatGPT y otras tecnologías son interesantes, es aquí donde realmente se crea valor para la persona promedio, para la gente del día a día. You know, it's one of those things that you don't know what you got till it's gone. And that was kind of the case with my vision when I lost it at 31. The challenges that we face, you know, just simply with visual navigation, you lose a level of independence with that. For a lot of people who are blind and have a low vision, independence almost always meant access to information. ARIA enables us to combine technologies like artificial intelligence and spatial audio that make the visual world accessible for people who are blind or have a low vision. It was amazing to see how a lot of our feedback was incorporated in building a Gento device and also by keeping accessibility as one of the focus points. This is a truly collaborative effort between Envision, Lighthouse San Francisco and Meta. We really want to go out and co-design with the community and try to learn from their experience. They actually want to try out these technologies. They're really excited. Sharon has been testing these features, giving us early feedbacks. GPS just doesn't work indoors. We need a different mapping and navigation technology. Usually when you listen to sounds over headphones, they'll sound like they're inside your head. Spatial audio is a technology that lets you play sounds over headphones that seem like they're coming from a real location out in the world. And all you have to do is follow that sound. You put the glasses on and you just talk to it like you talk to a friend. Hey Meta, help me pick up some apples. Certainly, follow the sound to locate the apples in the store. It'll start playing a beacon sound from the location within the store. The glasses can actually map as they are being used. We can allocate different points and label it with items that should be there in that space. Apples are here. You can ask any kind of a question. What apples are here? They have Granny Smith, Cosmic Crisp, and Honey Crisp apples. I'll get Granny Smith apples. Help me pick up red onions. Taking you to red onions. Red onions are here. Is this a red onion? Yes, this is a red onion in your hand. Just to have the freedom to walk into a grocery store and navigate to what I wanted. It was efficient, it was fast. It was just amazing. That's all I need today. Take me to the checkout counter? Sure, guiding you to the checkout. This isn't ready to ship out the door this second. But what's exciting is for how many people this appears to be working really well. Without these partners, we would have not been able to do what we did today. Thank you, have a great day. When we look at someone like Sharon, pick the groceries that she wants on her own, that emotion is incredible. Si eres fan de Meta, probablemente quieras saber sobre la reciente actualización de sus gafas. Han actualizado las ray así que quizás te interese ver cómo han integrado la IA en ese modelo. La razón por la que menciono esto es porque estas gafas sí están disponibles para su compra, mientras que las Ara Gen 2 aún no están disponibles para los consumidores. Hey Meta, play some music. Hey Meta, look and translate this. Send a voice message to Laura on WhatsApp. Just checking on you. Just hurry back when you can. You guys cooking? Say hi to mom. Hey y'all, guess where we're at? Festival. Meta, take a video. Nice. Hey Meta, 
How many tablespoons are in a cup? Hey, Meta. Look and tell me what kind of butterfly that is. No sería justo no mencionar las otras gafas de Meta, las Orion. Estas no son como las demás. En realidad, son gafas avanzadas de realidad aumentada que fueron presentadas en MetaConnect 2024. Son muy interesantes porque pertenecen a una plataforma diferente pero creo que probablemente se harán populares cuando se lancen. Tienen una fecha de lanzamiento prevista para 2027, dentro de dos años. Pero pienso que lograr una realidad aumentada de calidad es bastante difícil, especialmente en unas gafas tan finas. But the technical challenges to make them are insane. Um, you know, they, they need to be glasses. They're not a headset. No wires. Less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays. Sharp enough to pick up details. <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions. Large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. So if someone messages you, Uh, you will see that, and instead of having to pull out your phone, there will just be a little hologram, and with a few subtle gestures, you can reply without getting pulled away from the moment. Or, if you want to be with someone who is far away, um, they're going to be able to teleport as a hologram into your living room, as if they're right there with you. You're going to be able to tap your fingers and bring up a game of cards or chess or holographic ping pong or whatever it is that you want to do together you can work or play or whatever Si has llegado hasta este punto del vídeo dale like suscríbete y déjame saber qué piensas en los comentarios Nos vemos en el próximo vídeo